Pluto made them come all along. Pluto's circle crosses that of another planet. Pluto, the cryptic little planet at the external ranges of our planetary group, is working up fervor on the planet of stargazing. Late reports indicate a conceivable experience with Neptune, raising worries among researchers and space fans. Striking figures like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have sounded alerts about the ramifications of this infinite occasion. Yet, how did Pluto end up on an impact course with its adjoining planet, and what might this divine conflict at some point mean for life on Earth? Go along with us as we unwind how something huge just slammed into Neptune and how researchers have been left stressed by this vast irregularity. Pluto, once hailed as an undeniable planet, went through a change in its status, being renamed as a dwarf planet because of its curious circle. Notwithstanding this downgrade, Pluto actually enamors and interests the cosmic local area. Ongoing expectations from regarded researchers like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have raised worries about Pluto's direction, possibly meeting with Neptune, indicating an approaching danger of impact between the two divine bodies which could have critical repercussions for Earth. Pluto's excursion around the Sun stands out because of its interesting attributes inside our nearby planet group. Its circle is particularly extended, traversing a stunning a long time since its revelation in 1930. Pluto presently can't seem to finish a full unrest around the Sun, adding to its persona is the exceptionally extended shape of its circle, a departure from the more round ways followed by the major planets. Moreover, Pluto's circle goes astray by 17 degrees from the ecliptic plane, giving its way a more extreme slope contrasted with different planets. The blend of Pluto's tendency and its curved circle presents layers of intricacy to its orbital example. One prominent angle is its occasional convergence with Neptune's circle. For about 20 years during each circle, Pluto adventures nearer to the Sun than Neptune, opposing assumptions in view of their separate situations in the nearby planet group. Diving further into Pluto's circle, it's entrancing to take note of that it's anything but a wonderful circle yet rather a lengthened circle, looking like a greater amount of an oval shape. This remarkable circle results in critical varieties in Pluto's separation from the Sun all through its excursion. At its nearest approach, Pluto goes inside around 30 cosmic units of the Sun, while at its farthest point it comes to north of 49 away, two times the distance of Neptune from the Sun additionally, Pluto's circle is leaned at a point relative to the circles of the significant planets in our nearby planet group. This tendency not just adds to the intricacy of its circle yet in addition assumes a vital part in its collaborations with other divine bodies, especially Neptune. When Pluto runs into Neptune, their gravitational pulls impact one another, changing their directions after some time. The multifaceted dance among Pluto and Neptune highlights the powerful nature of our nearby planet group. While Pluto was once considered a solitary drifter in the external reaches, its nearby experiences with Neptune highlight the interconnectedness of divine bodies, each applying gravitational forces that shape the ways of others. As of late, progressions in observational innovation have permitted stargazers to follow Pluto's developments with more prominent accuracy. This has prompted a more profound comprehension of its circle and its true capacity implications for the dependability of the external planetary group. While the probability of an immediate crash among Pluto and Neptune remains low, the chance can't be altogether limited, prompting continued observing and concentrate by the cosmic local area. In spite of its small size and far-off area, Pluto keeps on pulling consideration and interest among researchers and fans the same. The inquiry emerges. Why hasn't there been an accident between Pluto and Neptune? The response lies in the pull of gravity from different planets. Space experts started concentrating on Pluto's way not long after tracking down it, and its course bewildered them. Dissimilar to most planets that stick near a similar plane as they circle the Sun, called the ecliptic plane, Pluto stands apart with its lofty point and oval-molded circle. The mystery developed when they understood Pluto's way crosses Neptune's. Regardless of these intricacies, Pluto's circle remains stable displaying the complex mechanics of space. Grasping how three divine bodies move and interface gravitationally like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun is a significant challenge. It resembles attempting to foresee where they'll go in view of where they start and how they pull on one another. For Pluto, this challenge uncovers how its way, Neptune's way, and the Sun's draw all work together. 
Terms like libration and VSOP assist researchers with settling this enormous riddle. Libration is vital for keeping planets in their circles. When Pluto crosses Neptune's way, it's at least 90 degrees away, keeping them from crashing. Libration ensures that when Pluto approaches Neptune or other huge planets, it's well over their way, decreasing the opportunity of a crash. The VSOP wavering named after researchers Von Zippel, Steves, and Kaplan makes sense of why Pluto's circle appears to be weird however stays consistent over the long haul. Regardless of the turmoil in space, these principles keep Pluto's circle stable, for stalling crashes with Neptune or changes in its way. The possibility of orbital disarray, showing how a heavenly body's way is extremely delicate to where it begins, is very much shown by Pluto. Indeed, even little changes in its situation or speed can wreck its circle over a long time. Researchers use programmatic reenactments to sort out how Pluto moves in space. These reproductions utilize extravagant math to duplicate how Pluto connects with other space stuff like Neptune. By tweaking these reenactments only a tad, cosmologists can perceive how small changes can change Pluto's way. In the last part of the 1980s, these reproductions found something fascinating about Pluto's circle. Despite the fact that there are things that ought to make it stable, Pluto's circle can in any case be capricious. Simply a minuscule distinction in where Pluto starts or how quick it's going can make huge changes over numerous years. Yet, even with this confusion, Pluto's circle stays stable for quite a while, like billions of years. This recommends that, despite the fact that Pluto looks all around the place, its excursion around the Sun follows some kind of request. Anticipating what will occur with planets like Pluto, which have out-of-place circles, is hard. These frameworks are capricious to such an extent that it's hard to surmise what'll occur over the long haul. Reproductions assist us with finding out about what could occur, yet they likewise show us that we can't anticipate everything impeccably. These models need precise beginning stages, and they recreate confounded stuff. Even a minuscule mix-up can prompt completely different outcomes, which makes it hard to make precise expectations. Getting it, Pluto's circle is significant, particularly when we contemplate whether it may collide with Neptune later on. This information assists us with seeing better how our nearby planet group works. Pluto's circle shows us how circles that appear to be unstable can balance out in light of gravity and how things move in space. It's essential to continue watching and concentrating on these things so we can comprehend where we fit in the universe. When we investigate space, we find out that things can be eccentric and Pluto. S circle is an extraordinary illustration of that unusualness. Pluto's circle isn't like those of different planets. It's more oval formed, which implies it's anything but a perfect circle. Sometimes it even gets nearer to the sun than Neptune does. This can make things interesting on the grounds that Neptune is likewise out there cruising along its way. There's a little opportunity that Pluto and Neptune could chance upon one another eventually. In spite of its odd circle, Pluto figures out how to stay away from Neptune more often than not. This is on the grounds that of something many refer to as gravitational forces. Gravity resembles an undetectable power that pulls things toward one another. So even though Pluto and Neptune could appear as though they're on a brief course, their circles are painstakingly arranged moves directed by the draw of gravity. Pluto's circle instructs us that space is brimming with shocks. What appears to be turbulent right away look can be a sensitive equilibrium of powers. By concentrating on Pluto's circle, researchers gain bits of knowledge into the multifaceted mechanics of our nearby planet group. This continuous perception and examination are fundamental for extending our information on the universe and our place inside it. Imagine if Pluto and Neptune impacted. It would be a vast occasion, sending shock waves through our comprehension of the planetary group. While we've gained ground in understanding space, what is happening shows that we still have a long way to go. Concentrating on how enormous planets influence Pluto's way gives us significant hints about how our entirety planetary group works. It shows us that where every planet is and the way in which it moves can change the ways of different things in space. Despite the fact that space is muddled, a few top researchers are stressed that Pluto could collide with Neptune. This makes them can't help thinking about why this could occur, despite the fact that it appears to be far-fetched. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a renowned space researcher, makes them interest thoughts regarding Pluto. 
he imagines that renaming Pluto as a phantom planet, not a major one as is Earth, a step in the right direction. He accepts we're consistently learning new things about how things move in space. Tyson sees Pluto's abnormal way as a sign that there's still a ton we don't realize. He believes that the mysteries of space make concentrating on it so interesting. He likewise knows that enormous occasions in space, like Pluto's renaming, get individuals inspired by cosmology. Tyson needs to assist individuals with grasping the cool and sometimes unusual things about how space works. He believes it's critical to discuss how space mechanics can shock us. Tyson works with other researchers to caution individuals about the potential risks of Pluto's peculiar way. Subsequent to concentrating on Pluto a ton, he's concerned that it could collide with Neptune one day. He says this could lead to enormous issues for our entire nearby planet group. An accident among Pluto and Neptune would be an interesting and serious occasion. It would deliver a great deal of energy and could fall to pieces Pluto. Pieces from the accident could fly around space and hit different planets and moons. Neptune could likewise feel the effect and change how it moves. Prestigious hypothetical physicist Michio Kaku, known for his commitments to string hypothesis and science correspondence, offers a captivating point of view on space investigation. He thinks that comprehension the fate of room travel and the connection between heavenly mechanics and hypothetical physical science can be gathered from concentrating on peculiarities like Pluto's circle. Kaku considers Pluto's circle to be a window into the eventual fate of room investigation. By getting a handle on the many-sided gravitational connections and orbital elements of heavenly bodies like Pluto, we can improve future space missions, supporting more secure route through the sun-oriented framework, anticipating likely dangers, and arranging missions to far-off corners of our astronomical neighborhood. Kaku underlines that illustrations gained from Pluto's circle can be applied to investigating other divine bodies, giving a guide for grasping far-off universes. He frequently features the profound association between divine mechanics and hypothetical physical science, focusing on that the developments and collaborations of planets, for example, the gravitational dance between Pluto and Neptune, are established in basic standards of material science. Kaku's work in hypothetical physical science, particularly string hypothesis, intends to unwind these standards at their center. He recommends that concentrating on the intricacies of divine mechanics, like Pluto's circle, can offer experiences into the hidden laws of the universe. Like Tyson, Kaku has additionally mulled over the potential crash of divine bodies, relating it to his speculations about the universe. A crash among Pluto and Neptune, while huge in astronomy, could offer an exceptional observational opportunity, potentially adding to our comprehension of string hypothesis. String hypothesis, which replaces point-like particles with one-dimensional strings, looks to portray the basic powers and matter in the universe. Such a crash could make outrageous states of energy and gravity, revealing insight into the way of behaving of fundamental particles and powers under outrageous conditions. A significant concentration in string hypothesis, in addition, the gravitational waves created by such an impact could give significant information for testing expectations of string hypothesis concerning gravity and spacetime. While the direct influence on Earth would be insignificant due to our separation from the external planetary group, the logical applications could be significant. Understanding occasions like this could develop our comprehension of the basic nature of the universe as portrayed by string hypothesis and other hypothetical physical science areas. Pluto's extraordinary attributes, influenced by the gravitational powers of adjoining planets, particularly Neptune, highlight the complex and dynamic nature of space. Yet, the universe holds a large number of secrets, and the three-body issue is only one of them. Researchers expect other potential calamities, highlighting the continuous mission for understanding and investigation in the vast universe. In spite of the fact that it's profoundly unlikely, there's as yet a small possibility of planets chancing upon each other in space. This can occur since planets' ways are impacted by various things like gravity from other planets, which researchers call the three-body issue. In places like the Trappist-1 framework, where there are seven Earth-sized planets, the gravitational powers make a kind of beat in how the planets move called orbital resonances. Over the long haul, these examples can make a planet's way less steady and could prompt crashes. Despite the fact that frameworks like Trappist-1 are occupied with planets, crashes aren't happening right now. 
Researchers keep a close eye on these frameworks to comprehend what planets mean for one another's ways, particularly when they draw near. This assists us with understanding how planets move in space. Sometimes there are rogue planets which don't circle a star and float around erratically. These planets utilize to be part of a star framework but got thrown out due to things like gravity or when another star came excessively close. Over time, these wandering planets can travel far and could run into other star frameworks. But since space is generally void, the opportunity of them hitting another planet is extremely low. Rogue planets are interesting contrasted with the quantity of stars and planets with stable circles, so impacts are even more uncertain. When universes combine, it can wreck the circles of the star frameworks inside them. Despite the fact that planets most likely won't smash into one another straightforwardly during these huge occasions, the solid gravity can change how stars and planets move. Sometimes planets get flung out into space, becoming rogue worlds. Different times they could collide with each other or their host stars. These disturbances might make new divine bodies or make new stars.